what is the reason behind hype about consulting post mba from isb uh, you know things i talked about uh, sometime back called fomo which clearly means that people have not internalized uh what they want to do what has happened by now that jobs like consulting investment banking recently product management and more recently ceo's office strategy of strategy roles have been so glorified that everybody wants to do it i mean who would not want to uh, probably you know have the best flower in a garden right that's essentially the idea uh and most of them in the first semester want to be a consultant in the sec by the second semester they would know, know their grades they would say that consulting plus product management could come by third term they would know that this is not happening then they would say i am also open to strategy roles i was not somebody who would do that right when i did a degree in economics i realized it's a good course but i am not somebody who wants to go in academic path so the reason for me not going for an mba economics was boss not that i didn't like it but just that, that i didn't want to go that academic path very clear so i knew i would i would have probably not still known what i want to do but i knew what i didn't don't want to do very clearly at isbi i realized that a couple of you know again uh, jobs will come first is consulting i knew i was not the guy who will do consulting i have very very good friends who have made to consulting and just like you say just because of the atmosphere they also know that they don't want to do consulting they just went to consulting with a brand name or for that matter uh just because you know everybody was doing it and, and they did it right look pick up the profiles of most consultants uh some you know i would say from isb uh, who would have joined a lot of these uh, in, you know top firms or even let's say the big fours i would say most of them would have switched in one and a half two three four max to some role which they realize is something which they want to do so consulting was to be honest not necessarily for a lot of people uh, and this is not a generalized statement but i'm saying for a lot of people uh, the role they wanted to do but just because they were unclear is they ended up doing that similarly product management still a lot of people who not even understand product management will say oh no i want to do product management i was pretty clear that consulting is out of option i mean i can't be you know making just slides and not implementing because i i am somebody who likes to implement things and get things done uh product management i knew that i'm not i'm not an engineer to be pretty honest i mean i cracked a couple of roles but i realized that that's not something where my competitive advantage lies i mean imagine somebody uh somebody let's say a non tech guy going to a pure tech team he can make it through his skills that's not an issue but for him to be a competitive advantage there uh is slightly more challenging so ideally again you would have also realize that what are your competitive advantage and where do you play so my competitive advantage from the past had been marketing that's what i done i realized was i'll sit for marketing sales uh, uh in general gen- general management roles which allow me to uh you know do the work which i want to do i mean i i, I realized that what these are things i don't want to do this is the thing probably which i am fine with i don't have a problem so it came more from a method of elimination which is also used in gmat so that's what gmat also does to you that you know a couple of folks who are who must be preparing for gmat they would be realizing that uh, all a lot of these like critical reasoning sentence correction uh, elimination methods not necessarily help at gmat but also later in life 